All right, college football is back. And Myers, we're so excited. We're up at five in the morning to film a video talking about the marquee matchup of the weekend. That is Ohio State, Notre Dame, and Ohio State coming away with a big victory, coming, uh, coming back from an early 10-7 deficit with two late touchdown drives to really finish off Notre Dame. A real gutsy win for C.J. Stroud, Ryan Day, and this whole Ohio State program. And we're going to break it down a little bit in a second. But first, we want to hear from the Ohio State fans. Who do you think the player of the game was? There was a lot of big-time contributors, obviously Stroud. Henderson had some nice plays, maybe somebody on defense. Let us know in the comment section below who you think the player of this game was. But, Myles, give me your give me your high-level thoughts on this big Ohio State win to kick off the 2022 season. Yeah, Nick. Well, early on, I mean, Ohio State and Notre Dame were in a defensive slugfest. Uh, obviously, uh, superstar Jackson Smith and Jigba went down early and was kind of a non-factor for the rest of the game, only totaling up three yards. And that's that was Stroud's favorite target uh, at the end of the season in the uh, uh, bowl game they played. I think he passed to him for about 1,500 yards in that game. So, uh, you know, I like that he went down early, but then uh, Stroud and Ohio State, Ryan Day's coaching, they were able to get through adversity pretty early, uh, overcome uh, a player not being able uh, to perform at their best. And they spread the ball around, you know, had a pretty impressive performance against, you know, a small number five team in the country, big time defensively minded team in the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. That was the most impressive part to me is it seemed that Ohio State came out. They battled a little bit of adversity in the beginning, but then they strung it all together in the end and were able to come out and work like the offense that we expected them to be uh, throughout this whole season. So uh, Stroud came out, another great performance, all a 24 of 34, 223 yards, 6.6 yards per average, and then two touchdowns. Uh, pretty, pretty efficient as a passer. Um, they had two guys almost hit 100 yards rushing. So the the running game looked strong as well. But uh, I think Ohio State coming out, you know, winning an ugly game, as Ryan Day says, on the road, or not on the road, at home, but winning an ugly game uh, against a top five opponent is a pretty big deal for them to start the season off. And you have to feel really good about that if you're an Ohio State fan. Yeah, and going into the game, I think the line was like Ohio State minus 16 and a half or 17. Like they were huge favorites, which is really bizarre because Notre Dame gets kind of, you know, they, they get a lot of disrespect, but this is still an elite program. They may not be Alabama. They may not be Ohio State. They may not be Georgia, but this is still Notre Dame. They get four or five-star recruits, big-time coaches. I mean, this is a, to a legitimate top-10 program. And so to come in and, and have to live up to an expectation of, oh, you're going to beat Notre Dame 45-14 to 14, was a little unfair for Ohio State going into it, I think. And obviously losing the uh, receiver early, that's going to you know throw off the rhythm of your offense. But one thing I really liked about C.J. Stroud's performance is that sometimes with quarterbacks, it's not about making you know the high-volume plays, throwing for 450 or 500 or so. It's making the big plays when you need to. And Stroud, time again, down the stretch, he made the big-time throws. I remember there was one third down – you know, in the in the drive, the scoring drive that ended up icing the game and put him up 21 to 10. I think he was under pressure, rolling to his left. He's a righty and somehow it's, it's just got guys in his face and drops in a beautiful sideline rope to, I think, the running back, uh, Williams, I think, Mayan Williams, who who dragged his toes for a huge first down. It was unbelievable play. I mean, it's an Aaron Rodgers-esque type of play from C.J. Stroud. Really, really impressive. And watching Stroud in this game, obviously with, you know, with the little hurt in the weapons department, he didn't get as many big plays as they're used to, obviously trying to replace Olave and, and Wilson, who are now in the NFL. I loved his accuracy and his ball placement. I mean, you don't see that as much from college guys. Sometimes they're a little more aggressive, more, you know, sometimes a little over the map. Stroud is just not that at all. He's very uh, consistent. He's very accurate, puts the football exactly where he wants to. And again, we talked about it in our analysis of another game. His stats don't really jump off the page like some, some of Stroud's games have. But I thought this was actually one of his better performances for how he managed and controlled the flow of the game against a really, really tough opponent. Yeah, Nick, and, you know, even with uh, middling stats for Stroud standards, still a really good game yeah, yeah. overall. <laughs> um, I think Stroud early on, uh, and, and I know this isn't really, you know, a huge stretch there. Everyone's been saying this. But for me, he looks like my top Heisman candidate right now, coming out against a top five team in the country, putting on a performance like this, even when your uh, best star receiver goes down early, 
he looks like he's going to be fine. But, you know, early on, you don't have him for the game against one of your toughest opponents so far uh, this season. Stroud comes out and he takes care of business like nothing happened at all. And that, that shows like good leadership, uh, you know, battling through adversity, uh, you know, just being a leader of the team, having to put the team on your back if you need to. All things that you want to look for in a Heisman candidate, uh, a guy who can do it all and be a great leader of the program. And I, I think Stroud did that. What do you think? Do you think, uh, is he one of your favorites for the Heisman so far? I, yeah, I think so. I think him and Bryce Young and maybe a guy like Richardson potentially from Florida could sneak into it. It's early, so you never know what kind of like dark horse is going to jump out. But I definitely think it's going to be a Stroud-Young battle, both for the Heisman most likely and probably for the national championship when it's all said and done. But when I looked at this performance from Ohio State, I think the thing that jumped out at me, and I think you kind of alluded to it, is that this is an Ohio State offense that's used to just firing on all cylinders. When Ohio State loses, like to Michigan last year, they lose like 40 something to 20 something, right? They, you know, they don't, they always put up some level of points on the board. Usually if they lose games, it's because their defense struggled. This was a completely different kind of game. And sometimes we see some of these quarterbacks, especially at the college level, if the flow of the game isn't something they're used to, and really it's not just a quarterback, it's the coach. And this is a big credit to Ryan Day here. If the flow of the game is not what they're used to, they get out of whack. They get out of sorts and, and things just kind of spiral out of control. That did not happen with Ohio State. And I think Herb Street, uh, you know, on the call a number of times mentioned it. It's just the fact this team appears tougher. And I think he was maybe talking physical toughness, but I thought this was a mentally tough football team because this game does not did not go exactly how Ohio State likes to play at all. They still found a way to execute when it mattered most and came up with a big win. And that kind of mental toughness, which is a credit to both Day and Stroud, I give them both kind of equal share there. Is a big is a really good incentive and really good uh, indicator, I should say, for the season for Ohio State as they really are just really gearing up basically to the final game of the season to, for that rematch against Michigan to go to the Big Ten championship game. Because everything at this point, this was their big statement win, you know, top five win. So here you go. The resume's checked for the playoff. Now, now they just got to handle business in the Big Ten, which I think they will. And it's going to be a rematch against Michigan. So credit to Ohio State across the board, but big games from Stroud. Great job by Day as, as I really are looking forward to a strong season. <laughs>